This is the story of not finding exactly what you had in mind so you decide to make it yourself. We sketched out ideas for a trio of kitchen stools on paper, and then we collaborated with woodworkers George and Leanne of Norman Lee Design. After viewing prototypes over video chat, we visited their Michigan wood shop to bring it all to life. Hey guys! Our idea was to execute an interlocking base with a bean-shaped seat, but we ultimately nixed that for more of a half moon shape. After agreeing that simple was better, George got to work creating the base. We couldn't shake the idea of rounded edges, and it turned out an old pot lid was the cutest template. George used a bandsaw to cut the shape, and then Leanne sanded it all down to perfection. Hey, look at that! It interlocks just as planned. We created a plywood template for the seat, traced it, and used the bandsaw again to cut it out. Cute, right? You can see here that the interlocking design is less deep than it is wide with final dimensions of 14 by 18 inches. Now that we had the stools, we could take it from here. Next stop, Lowe's. For budget reasons, we used red oak, but in our hearts, we wanted the look of white oak, and this is where Minwax comes in. Here's what we brought home. Minwax wood finish for rich, penetrating color. Minwax design series color wash for age and character. We also grabbed a pre-stained conditioner, and then of course, Minwax polycrylic in a clear matte finish, which is my go-to water-based protective finish. Back at home, we got our supplies ready. A drop cloth, lint-free rags, two 20 grit sanding blocks, natural and synthetic brushes, stir sticks, gloves, and of course, our Minwax haul. You can see here that red oak has some pinkish undertones and our goal was to layer these Minwax products to give us the softer look of white oak. To start, I gave everything a quick sand in the direction of the wood grain to remove fingerprints and debris. Now I could pre-stain. I'm using oil-based Minwax pre-stain conditioner and applying it with a natural bristle brush in the direction of the wood grain. Anything that didn't soak in after five minutes was wiped away with the lint-free rag. Now we can stain. We're staining the stools using Minwax wood finish in the color Golden Oak. We wanted to enhance the richness of the wood before we tone it down. More on that in a moment. Using a natural bristle brush, you can see that we're also applying it in the direction of the wood grain. And then we're gonna get that oil-rich color in one coat and it dries after just two hours. Okay, here's where things get really fun. Minwax Design Series Color Wash is new to us and it will add that layer of depth and character that we're craving. Our hope was that layering it with the rich wood stain would tone down any redness. Will it work? Let's see. I'm using a synthetic brush to apply the color wash against the wood grain and then I'm immediately wiping it off with my rag. The quicker you remove the color wash, the softer the effect. I actually found my sweet spot to be a quick swipe of color wash followed by an even quicker wipe with a slightly damp rag. Look at this. We were already so pleased with the results, but there was one final step. The next day we applied Minwax Polycrylic in a clear matte finish. I love polycrylic for protecting our wood furniture and the matte finish always feels so luxe to the touch. Here I'm using a synthetic brush and gliding it on in the direction of the wood grain. And then after two hours, I gave the stools a light sand with my 220 grit sanding block, wiped it down, and then I added another coat. For good measure, I gave the tops of each stool a third coat. Once all was dry, we added furniture gliders to the bottoms of our cute and curvy stools, and we were done. It's official, we are smitten. Better yet, I love that our new kitchen stools have this wonderful story to tell.